welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build we went video game when we built the Broilers Cleaver from Dota 2. Uh, and if you missed that build we'll include the link in the description below to our channel's homepage so you can go over there and check out Broilers Cleaver or any of our other uh, super cool builds we have there. Now for this build we're going to go sci-fi. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> Check that out. Wow. It is the Season 1 laser blaster from Lost in Space. That's right. You've seen us a long time ago. We did another Lost in Space blaster, but it was from Season 2. This is the laser blaster from Lost in Space Season 1. All right, check that out, man, and all of its crazy 1960-something sci-fi glory. Holy cow, that is an iconic retro ray gun right there. Um, not a hard build. We've got a tapered barrel up here. We've got this whole contraption here in the middle that we had to build by splitting some dowels and getting that kind of like tubular, rectangular, tubular shape for the body. Sculpted our handle, did a little bit of layering up on here, did some rounding off with the Dremel in some spots. Um, our usual stuff. Uh, super cool and a really easy paint job. Really, really easy paint job. Uh, so, in this episode, making an EVA foam Lost in Space Season 1 laser blaster. Um, we're going to go step by step through how to make it seal it and paint it um, nice and if you want to build along with us we have a template so we'll include the link in the description below to our channel storefront so you can go and yank a template if you want or don't just watch um, all right man enough of me flapping my gums if you're ready to hit it let's make something okay now as you can tell our cutting mat doesn't have a grid doesn't have the grid lines on it. That's because we flipped it over because after you use one side and you hack it up and it's got a ton of gouges and cuts in it, you can flip it over and have a fresh side on the back. So no grid lines, but it's the same cutting mat. All right, now we're gonna start our ray gun. We've got the bulk of our body. It's gonna be made up of a 24 millimeter piece and a couple six millimeter pieces. So what we're gonna do first is we will knock this out on the bandsaw real quick. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna knock these six millimeter pieces out. Okay, now you know the drill with contact cement. Coat both sides, let them both dry completely, then after they're totally dry, then they can make contact. And go flush right down the edge right here. Okay, that's down. Now we're gonna... Line up flush at the front. Now we're going to go right down this top side here. All right, there we go. Got it on both sides. Got this cool little step down. Okay, now we've got our three millimeter pieces that's going to make up sort of a part of the detail on the grip. All right, there's those two pieces. Now that's all we're gonna cut is the flat bottom and the long side and the window. Okay, now let's leave these and then we're gonna come over and look at these two pieces. All right, there we go. We've got our bottoms and our long sides and over here we've got our bottoms and our long sides, right? So let's deal with these next. 
We've got our three millimeter piece of foam. Now see all these dots right here? These are patterns we're gonna follow with our wood burner. All right, so we're gonna come in just like that. Now we're just gonna go dot by dot. Okay, there we go. We've got all of our lines burned on both pieces. Now these are gonna be coming in and sticking on here so we can see that through the window. All right. Okay, we're gonna line up our bottom and our side. All right, give that a minute. We're gonna lay our bottom down flush. We're gonna lay this side down flush right there. All right, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna come in with our brass tube and we're gonna poke out right in the center of our beautiful look at that okay now we're going to come in and we're going to line up the bottom and the side now let's transfer that line over to our piece just like that all right now we're going to get our dremel out and we're going to taper these two sides All right, what a sweet taper right there and right there. Okay, now we're gonna line up our corner, lay down our bottom edge flush, and then lay down this side flush right there. And then we'll get this inside our Sharpie mark. Okay, now, once again, it doesn't look like much. It's kind of looking weird at the moment, but now, after we've layered everything up, now we're gonna come in and make a cut that's gonna make it start looking like a ray gun. Okay, now we're gonna go bottom, side, top, and front. All right, now what we're gonna do is right here, this little ledge has to line up with that ledge, and this ledge has to line up with that. All right, so we've got it in place there for the top. Okay, now we're gonna cut it there and there. Gonna start looking like a ray gun. So let's pop over the bandsaw and the scroll saw and cut those out. That is pretty nice. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go around with the Dremel and we're gonna start to round all these edges off on here. Okay, so let's get our dust mask on. All right, now we'll come in with our smooth bit. Okay. All right, there we go. Nice. Rounded off our handle. 
Ooh, that is sweet. Got some soft edges around here. Now we're not gonna round this off because something's gonna be sitting on here. All right, there we go. That's the bulk of our ray gun, which now starts looking like a ray gun. All right, now we're gonna take the same brass tube we poked that hole out with, and we're gonna take this leftover piece of six millimeter foam, and we're gonna poke two out. All right, there we go. We rounded it off. Right there. there we go. Cool round button in the handle right there. That's it. All right, now we're gonna start building the whole back section back here. Now we're gonna start with a 24 and a 10 millimeter piece and we're gonna stick them together. Let's go cut it out. Okay, there we go. Now, this is the other piece, okay? We've got a 36 millimeter dowel, and we're gonna split it right down the middle, but before we split it down the middle, we stuck it with double stick tape to a block, and the reason we did that was, now we've got this flat bottom to the block, so when we send it through the bandsaw, our dowel isn't gonna roll on us. We're gonna get a nice perpendicular cut. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's split it down the middle. Before we split it down the middle though, we wanna come in and make a mark. This and this. Okay, so there's our two marks. All right, we're gonna make these cuts first, then we're gonna split it. Okay, there we go. We cut the ends off and we split our foam dowel. All right, let's get rid of this double stick tape. Let's cut our frays off first. As close as we can get it, as perfect as we can get it. Now we're gonna line up our edge all the way down the top. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna make a nice clean cut at the back just so we've got flush ends. All right, there we go. Flush front, flush back, very nice. the front, so we know we've got it in the right spot. There, and now we're going to lay it down inside our Sharpie mark, and we're going to get this in here. Very funky, that's pretty cool. I'm liking that. All right. Okay, now we're gonna come in and start adding some little details here to the side. We'll start with this two millimeter piece right here. We're gonna pop out the center using our brass tube. And two. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and stick this down. Get this drop down on here. All right, we're gonna cut just outside of our Sharpie mark. Stand our knife up so we can make a nice pivot around this whole circle. All right, perfect. We're gonna get the bottom wet. 
we're going to lay this right up at our little notch right there on the side of our body piece. All right, nice. Got the little recess in there. That's pretty sweet. Like All right, now we're going to come in with this three millimeter piece and a two millimeter piece. And we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to start by cutting the middle out. there. Carefully lay this down right over our clean area. That's not bad. Let's get some heat on this. Let's tighten it all up. Wow, that's nice. The foam tightened up. That... All right, now we've got our four millimeter pieces that are gonna wrap around the body here. So we drew our lines, so we know where we're gonna lay them down at. Okay, now, the reason we left it connected is because we want to make an, the exact same cut on all the ends, and we're going to slightly make a bevel cut. All right, so we're not going to use our blade straight up and down. We're going to slightly tip it just a little bit like that, and go through. All right, now, the end of each piece has a slight angled cut on it. It'll touch the side of the body right there. It'll wrap around and touch the body down there. Ooh, nice. That's going to be really cool. All right, so now what we're going to do before we stick those down is we're going to slightly soften the edge of all these. hold it down just to get it anchored and started. Now we're just going to use our super glue and we're going to wrap them around one at a time. Okay, we're going to use a foam squeegee. To get... Okay, there we go. Because we made our little bevel cut on the end, it matches right up here with the body on the side, wraps around, and then matches right up with the body over here because we did the bevel cut. And that's it. We're just going to take our time. We're going to wrap all the rest of these. All right, there we go. Wrapped them all. Now that's raw foam, so let's tighten it up with some heat. foam tightens up nice. That is beautiful. Now, so far you've seen, this is totally easy so far. Super easy. Every okay, now we're going to do the little light on the top of our ray gun. We've got 2, 3, and 12 millimeter. Okay. just to the outside of our Sharpie line. Let's stand our knife up and we're just gonna steer right around this circle. And 
nice little step down. Now this 12 millimeter piece is going to come in. So let's go ahead and pop this out. We might be able to use a brass tube for this. There we go. That's going to stand right up in the middle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to round this over with our Dremel. All right, there we go. Perfectly rounded off. Now let's come in with our sanding stick and see if we can smooth this out a little bit. Now we're gonna seal it and tighten it up. The foam should really contract and tighten up now. Very cool. Okay, we're gonna begin building our barrel. We've got a 12 millimeter dowel, a two millimeter piece of foam, and a little brass rod, all right? We're gonna want some support on this thing. So we're gonna be bringing it in sort of like this, okay? So we're gonna split this foam dowel right down the middle. registration lines there so we know it goes back together the right way. All right. Okay, now we're going to dremel a trench right through the middle of here. All right, there we go, we've got one side in. Now we're gonna wrap that with this two millimeter piece of foam. Let's do a test wrap. Get our seam together. Take your time, just pinch it together. Real careful so that the edge of the seam is flush. Then once you have it together, you push it down and you've got a super tight seam right there. Okay, now we need this to be a little bit more even on the end, so we're gonna come in with our Dremel bit and we're gonna Tighten that end up just a little bit. All right, now we're going to start cutting out our couple six millimeter pieces here. Okay, now let's make a center mark. We'll use our, our spokes. Okay, now we're going to get a skinny bit in, just a little bit skinnier than this, so it's snug. 
little circle drawn on here so we know where we're gluing. There we go. All right, here's our 48 millimeter piece. We're gonna cut this outer circle out and we drew our lines over to the side for the outside and the inside and then transferred them over. So this is the side view. It's gonna have this taper. So we're gonna tip our bandsaw table so we can make this taper and we're gonna cut all the way around here. All right, there we go, check it out. It's got the cool taper on there. We used the scroll saw instead because we can cut a tighter circle. So we tipped the table and cut it and now we've got that cool taper. And that's... Okay, now we're gonna come in with our 220 sanding stick and we're going to see if we can get off some of these bandsaw lines. All right, beautiful. Now what we're going to do is this, is we want a little bit of a hollow part of the barrel. So we're going to come in probably right about to there. All right, now let's make a mark all the way around it. There we go, beautiful. Now we're gonna go knock this out on the bandsaw. Mark there so we get it right back in the exact spot. Okay, there we go, we split it. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna cut Okay, now we can stick this back on wherever our line is, there it is. We can stick that back on and we're gonna have a little bit of a hollow barrel there, which is what we wanted. But before we do that, we're gonna clean the inside up a little bit. Line it right back up perfectly, there we go. All right, there we go, check it out. We... All right, in comes another piece, which is our 24 millimeter. We're gonna knock this off and taper it. But what we need to do is we need to have the top end of it be the same diameter as this right here. So let's figure out what our perfect diameter is. All right, it's gonna be roughly that right there. All right, so before we start doing that, we're gonna cut these two ends off. Right, like that. Okay, now we're gonna be able to come in and we're going to taper this to go up to that cone so when it slides in, it matches up pretty nicely. Okay, now we're going to cut out this three millimeter piece. We had to make our crosshairs on this piece, find our center, measure how far over our little dowel is, so that we could come over onto this piece, find our center, and measure how far over we needed to drill. Slide it in right to there. 
And now we make good contact all the way around. Okay, now I've got this eight millimeter piece that's gonna go on the bottom, right down in here, but we're gonna have to shape it to kind of fit this little rounded collar right here. So that's our rough shape. Okay, we're gonna cut a little bit off of the back end and a little bit off of the bottom. So let's cut that out. That is not far off. Looks like we're gonna have to shape a little tiny bit right in here. All right, so let's get our Dremel. We might be spot on right there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with our super glue, or I mean our contact cement. We're going to get some on a tiny little brush, okay, and then we're going to come in and that way we can get really detailed with our contact cement exactly where we need it. That way we don't have to use the big brush, which might get all kinds of gunk all over the place. Everyone. Wedge this down in here to get nice, tight contact. A little bit difficult shaping right in here, but foam bends a little bit, so we got it pretty close, and then we just smushed it in there, and that is pretty cool. All right. All right, now a couple tiny little details right here. We've got an eight and a four millimeter. All right, let's just go with the four. All right, there's our little four millimeter piece on the top. All right, now we're gonna take a leftover piece of four millimeter and we're just gonna hand cut a little rectangle piece. All right, there's two simple little four millimeter details. Now we're going to knock out these six and four millimeter pieces. We're just going to cut all of these little squares out. All right. Okay, now we're coming in with this eight millimeter trigger guard. All right, we're not gonna use these details on the end. We're gonna come in and we're going to we're gonna get our super glue on our foot right there. All right, there you go. That is tight. Okay, now we got our trigger, but let's hold it under there. I don't think we need it that long. Let's see if my finger's gonna go in there. It's probably gonna go right about here. All right. Okay, there we go. Trigger fits. 
perfectly. That is nice. All right, now we're gonna go around some of these areas or we've got a little bit of an X-Acto blade overcut and we're gonna fill in those gaps with our quick seal. We're gonna get a little bit on our spatula. Perfect, look at that. Filled it in, getting little bits on your spatula and filling in wherever there's a little bit of an overcut. Okay, now we're gonna get a little bit of water on our finger. And we're gonna smooth it all out. Okay, there we go. We used some quick seal. We filled in some of our X-Acto blade overcuts that we got on this piece right here. Looks kind of messy with all the white on there, but we covered in the crevices, the little slit marks, and then when we seal it with Plasti Dip, you probably won't see it at all. We went ahead and went around the barrel and we filled in the, what little bit of a seam there was. Uh, that should be almost not noticeable also when we seal it. So there we go. With that last detail, getting a little bit of uh, quick seal and some of our little gaps and cut marks, that brings the build portion of our Lost in Space ray gun to a close. Okay, here we are at the spray stand. We're gonna begin coating our ray gun with our Plasti Dip. And you know what we always say, even if you're outside in a well-ventilated area, do not spray without your respirator. All right, that is looking pretty good. Sealed with multiple coats of Plasti Dip. Nothing really hidden in there. It was easy to coat the whole thing. All right, let's let it hang. By the trigger, we're gonna let it dry all the way through all the coats, then we're gonna paint it. Super easy paint job, too. All right, here we are at the spray stand. We're gonna begin coating a couple of the pieces on our laser pistol with our satin bronze. All right, there we go. We got two pieces on our blaster done with our satin bronze, this little disc up here and this little screen gizmo at the back. All right, so we dusted them both with our satin bronze. Doesn't matter if we got overspray. We're gonna be painting the whole rest of the thing a different color and a couple other little tiny details. So there we go. Easy stuff. We'll let it dry and then we'll move on. All right, so we went ahead and we covered this gold area with uh, painter's tape. We're gonna hit this barrel with our satin red and we don't wanna get any dust on there. All right, there we go, nice. Now we're gonna take our time and we are going to get our painter's tape off of here. Very nice, all right. Time to move on. All right, we're coming in with our apple red. Get a layer down on here. All right, there we go. We're gonna do a couple layers, let it dry in between layers, and then after a couple layers, we'll have a nice solid red on there. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the rest of this with a sponge brush because the sponge brush covers much better than a regular brush. 
All right. Nice and solid. All right. All right. Now we're coming in with our pure black. We're just filling the whole thing in. We'll cover in our plastidip black with our acrylic black just to get a nice rich coat. All right, there we go. We got the whole thing coated in black all the way around. All right, there we go. Super simple. We just touched up a couple little spots on the red bulb there where we hit it with our black, and now it's fixed. Um, that, that about does it. With that last detail, touching up those little spots on the bulb there, that brings our Lost in Space Season 1 Laser Pistol build to a close. Yeah, that's right. Super cool. Man, is that nice. Loving this thing. I love them all. But I love this one. Um, but I love them all. But I really love this one. Neat. All right. Retro awesomeness. The 1960-something Lost in Space. <laughs> Laser blaster. Very cool. Um, that was, you saw the build. Super, super easy. Did a little bit of support in the barrel here because we didn't want the barrel being floppy. Did some cool tapering for the, for the barrel and rounded off for our little bulb at the top. And then, uh, it wasn't that hard. We did the usual stuff back here. We did a lot of layering up so you could see little step downs in the handle and this little step down on the bottom of the body right there on both sides. Um, and then built this cool back thing. You saw how we did that. That was nice, how we split a dowel to get that cool round edge on both sides. And then we wrapped it. All our same techniques. Super easy. Nice. All right. That concludes making an EVA foam Lost in Space Laser Blaster from Season 1. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like. Share us with a friend and subscribe to this channel and together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. <laughs> Thanks for coming. See you next time.